Hi, I'm Trish from Treasure and today I'm going to make a card just like this. This one I've used two ovals. I was going to make them for a card but ended up making them into a flower. So one's bigger than the other. Um, but I'm going to use a different paper this time. I'm going to use this American Crafts and it's called, what was the last little bit of it, Butterscotch. It's a double sided paper and I'm going to use some, um, this is a store bought card, the Craft Affair, it's that envelope and the card. So I've already pre-done some of the stuff so that's the card pre-bought and I've save time I've already added the tape onto the back so the main thing to remember whenever you're adding your tape is make sure you always 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 go right flush to the edge because what that does is it stops any of the edges peeling up and it takes away from the professional look of your card making so I on this first card I've just done a, a small border on that and then I've got this one here over the top to contrast the beauty of this particular one is I've pretty much used one sheet of double sided paper uh, a couple of reasons the main reason is that it's already color coordinated so that makes it just so so easy so looking good that's a good start and I've just taken the liberty of making an insert. I've just um, snuck a piece out of the, um, the printer. It's just plain white paper. And I've just cut it to size to fit, allowing a small border for the brown to show around. It gives me somewhere to write on the inside of the card. And I've used my Stampin' Up! Boho Blossom Punch. So I've got that there ready straight away and it goes too easy so I've just punched out of all the scraps what I needed and that's the insert and I've done the same thing with the envelope so eventually it will be all coordinated what we're going to do is make the flower and what I've done is I've ripped a couple of pieces one bigger the other now we're going to rip them in a circle so do your best to go with a circle. Just rip it around just as best you can. You've got your bigger circle and then you'll have your smaller circle. And that's your bigger one. of this is it's all, all handmade. So what we're going to do is we're going to aim for these one, two, three, four, five petals. So, so we just start ripping into the middle. One, that's one, two, three, there we go, that's five there. Same on this one. One petal, two petals, three petals, four and five. Voila! So the next thing you'll need is a bamboo skewer. You know, you usually put chicken through these. So you'll have to go to the kitchen and find your special ingredient. We're going to roll the edges. So I chose the blue for the and then we're going to, so it contrasts against the spots, so I'm going to do it, so the big one goes down first. And then every time you roll it, it just shows the other colour. That's just so simple. And it just doesn't take very long at all. Rolling, it's very therapeutic. It's the kind of thing you could do on a long car drive. You could make a heap of these. You need to make a 
pick a few cards, it's something to do when you're sitting there with a little staple table. Obviously if your husband's driving on me. <laughs> anyway, this is such a simple flower to make. There's the first one. I'm going to roll the other way as well. Just really show up that lift up that other contrasting edge. Just, just makes it if you can manage it. Just it's just a subtlety. I think the secret with this guy is also if you can use your um, dimensionals. The same thing with this flower. It's going to flip up the other way, the, uh, the other colour. There it comes. It's such a great flower. Such a cinch to make. fan of polka dots at the moment. Not sure why. They really appeal to me. Look at that. Now I've already made the centre so that it just sits right in place. Voila! And there we have it. A little flower. my dimension. I'm just going to lift that layer up in between. It's just going to give it a nice little bit of an accent there. And of natural, of course, I'm going to use fake glue. This Tombow, it's a multi-adhesive. Just going to glue that down. No. Wait. glue. People play with these cards. Touch them. I'm going to add some, some glitter just to highlight the edges. Just needs that little bit of bling there on the edges. Now if you don't, just totally Lifts the card. That's just so quick. Look at that. Looks gorgeous. There we go. And that's ice. Stickles, glitter glue. And that's that. I'm going to make a little uh, label for that. So I have another scrap here. So I'm going to use the blue. I'm going to use the Stampin' Up Modern Label Punch. Punch that out. And I'm going to use the stamp set here. It's Stampin' Up. It's the Teeny Tiny Sentiments. And I'm going to use the Happy Birthday and I'm going to use the Colourbox Chalk Happy Birthday. And somewhere here I've got some white. I'll put that there it is. Just a scrap of white. Happy Birthday. And I have Word Window. glue. Let's 
such a cute, quick, easy card. On the back of the happy birthday. Clip it down. Too easy. Voilà.